But first, it just keeps happening. Another person breaking into that secured area of Sky Harbor. This time, police say a man ended up walking right into Terminal 2, then through a jetway and onto a United plane before deploying an emergency chute onto the runway. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez live at the airport tonight. And Nicole, this guy didn't even have a ticket. And yet he he actually made it inside the terminal, but claims he had no idea how he got onto the plane in the first place. But security experts say the fact that he was able to make it that far is a huge concern. I can't imagine like did he just like walk through and nobody noticed? It's supposed to be one of the most secure places in every city with checkpoints, body scanners and layers of law enforcement at every corner. But somehow it didn't stop one man from getting on the ground and up next to hundreds of planes. When I'm boarding the plane, you know, they don't let you anywhere near without showing your boarding pass, your driver's license, etc. Phoenix police say somehow this 30 year old made his way past security and onto a jetway into a United Airlines plane, then deployed the emergency slide onto the tarmac. My first reaction, honestly, was here we go again. Dr. Richard Bloom specializes in security, intelligence, and terrorism studies at Embry-Riddle. And in any 24-hour period, you'd be surprised how many security violations there are. And Sky Harbor has had some notorious issues. Between 2004 and 2016, more than 20 security breaches, including this incident from 2005, where a man plowed the stolen truck through a gate and drove alongside planes and another in 2012 where a woman slammed through a metal fence with her two-year-old son on a busy runway. People change, the world changes, your layers of security have to change. Beyond just the security threat, it's also a financial hit. Deploying the slide alone costs United 40 grand. They should figure out where the hole was and how, you know, their processes and procedures allowed this person to get through. Now, I'm told these kinds of threats can actually lead to grounding planes, delaying flights, and sometimes with flights coming into Sky Harbor, they might be forced to stay in the air until police make an arrest. But so far, it's unclear if that happened in this case. For now, we're live at Sky Harbor. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.